Okay, so today we are going to be refurbishing this old knife that I made back in, I think it was 2019. Um, it was just a show knife, not really for use because it's uh, not really that great of steel. It's just something I had laying around and I was bored. But we are going to try and grind this better, uh, reshape it. As you can see, it's been dropped. Tips, uh, tips been blunted, and we're gonna put a different handle on it. But yeah, this will probably be a one or two part series, maybe. We'll see how it turns out, how quickly I can uh, do this. All right, so the first order of operations, I think, on this knife is to drill out these pins. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a drill bit that'll work for that. All right. I'm thinking, we'll go to quarter inch. That should work. Okay, that looks fairly lined up. That drill bit's not straight at all, but whatever. This ain't rocket science. So since it's not gonna want to cooperate, I'm gonna go grind a flat spot in probably this side. All right, flat spots ground in. We'll see if that makes any difference. Hmm, never mind. Worked. Well, there's one. Looks like I super glued these on and clearly that didn't work very well. aluminum pins. It actually looks like this side stayed on. So here's the blade. The handle's off. So I figured I would um, sketch an idea of what I wanted to remove on this blade before I just went crazy on the uh, belt sander. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I kind of want to bring this up. I don't know, probably about halfway, somewhere like that. get to doing the edge but I think the next step should be so stupidly hot putting these in so I'm thinking just kind of I don't know something like that all right so I got um kind of rough ground in uh, I think I said it before, but uh, basically with this 80 grit belt, I am just going to be uh, roughing the shape in and then kind of finalizing the whole shape of everything with a 120, because uh, that's usually how I do uh, things. So let's now start on this.
rough ground in. It's not quite the same. It's pretty close. Um, you can see a little bit of rust there on that edge. I wasn't going to bother hitting that because I was just going to grind it in. But I think I've got enough rough grinding done to go ahead and switch over to the 120 belt. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these are just cheap uh, Harbor Freight sanders because I don't do this enough to really warrant getting really nice tools. And I kind of like to see how far I can push um, just cheap uh, Harbor Freight tools and just things that you can get and have around in your house. You don't have to have special power for or really that much space. Yeah, change this belt, let the blade cool down a little bit, and we're going to get back to it. getting there. I've kind of got the bevels brought in how I'd like. Um, it's definitely, like I said, this is just kind of going to be a show knife. I'm still going to put an edge on it, but it's not going to hold an edge very well since it's not that great of steel. Um, but I'm thinking I'm about to slap on a little bit finer, like a worn 120, start working everything in. Well, I kind of knew that was going to happen. I was hoping I captured it on video, and I did. Any damage? Nah, doesn't look like it. Well, that's good.
shape. That wasn't a good sound. The shape around to where I want it. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part right here and I'm just going to put it on the slack belt to kind of blend all this in. <laughs> Decent progress for I don't know about an hour and a, two hours worth of work. It definitely looks better than it did before. But yeah, I think that's the rough grinding. I kind of like how I blended that in because I mean you can still see it, but then it doesn't look as uneven. And then uh, the tip. I kind of hit the edge with the sander to flatten it out a little bit because I just wasn't happy with the shape. So I changed the shape a little bit. But I think that's it for tonight. We'll pick this back up on part two. But I will give you some sneak peeks of what I'm planning to do with this blade. Oh, yeah. And. I think you're starting to see what I'm what I'm thinking. It may not look too great right now, but if this if this will work, this can be pretty cool.